What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and today I'm going to talk about a couple of things. Um, head coach Nick Sirianni has said that Jalen Hurts will start the preseason game Thursday against the Steelers, which really isn't a surprise, but with everybody making such a big deal of him not have, naming a starter for the season, uh, I got to talk about that. And also, Left tackle Andre Dillard has another injury, um, has a sprained knee, and he's week to week. What it means for the left tackle position. Uh, before I get into this video, though, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. Also, if you're a Madden 21 player on Xbox One, I'm going to have my Xbox One game attack down in the description box also. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, uh, so feel free to DM me. And whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come on, let your boy, yo. Uh, well, Jalen Hurst will start at least the preseason. <laughs> Um, you know, a lot of people making a big deal of Nick Sirianni not name saying that Hurts is the guy, and that could mean one or two things. One, um, you know, it could be that he just don't want to, <laughs> like he just want to let Hurts go out there and play and just continue to grow and grow, and he feel like that's the best way to, to motivate him and get the best out of him. Another could be maybe you know he don't want to put his foot in his mouth in case Howie out of nowhere trades for Deshaun Watson. Which I think is very possible, um, a very possible reason why he hasn't named a starter also. But, um, apparently Jalen Hurts been taking first team reps with all the, um, taking reps with all the first team. Um, had his day, you know, he had a couple of days apparently where he wasn't great, but a couple of days where he was very, 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 very good. So, um, I'm looking forward to seeing him out there Thursday. I'm looking forward to seeing him out there. Um, him and the young receivers. I know we most likely won't have Devontae Smith, unfortunately, out there. But uh, with him and the young receivers and just see the core and, you know, the, the timing that they get together, uh, I'm excited, you know, to see what Jalen Hurts could do out there with this young wide receiver core. You know, uh, it should be a whole lot of fun, you know, to watch. Uh, and yeah, that's basically what that is, man. I don't think it's because Joe Flacco has a real chance of beating out Jalen Hurts. I think it's basically just, you know, to, to light a fire on them. Or maybe he like, I don't know, this, this crazy GM might be trading for watch, so I ain't gonna say nothing. You know, it could be one of those two things. It's definitely not because Joe Flacco or Nick Mullins have a real chance to outplay him in the preseason or whatnot and, and, and gain the starting role, you know, when we had to Atlanta, we won. So that's out of the question. Um, and also you have Eagles, uh, left tackle Andre Diller suffers a sprained knee and is now considered week to week. Look, um, Andre Dillard is, is right now is, is borderline pushing on, on first round bus, yo. Unless he could come back this year or next year or whatever and just be really, really good. It's looking like, you know, another Howie miss. <laughs> like another early round Howie miss, yo. Um, had a biceps injury last year, but made him miss the whole season. Um, after we let Jason Peters go, we had to call Jason Peters to come back. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's, and now it is, it, it's not a great look for him. For one, you know, Jordan Malata, they had him listed as co-starters, but I think like, uh, Jordan Malata was going to, was going to start Thursday with the first team in the preseason game regardless. But with this incident, you know, um, you know, now we know who, now we, we know at least Malata going to, you know, get the real chance to, to hold it down, a real chance to go out there and play in the preseason and dominate and solidify himself as a left tackle. And just take the job and run with it. But, uh, I mean, it's disappointing for Andre Dillard. It's disappointing for us because, you know, we've seen this thing too many times with first or second round draft picks basically keep coming up short. Um, you know, now granted, like I said, he's still got time to get on the field and actually make a difference, you know, but still for someone like him who we had high hopes on, thought that we had definitely found our quarterback of the future. It's really unfortunate, yo. It's real, real, real unfortunate. But uh, I hope I, Malata had his moments last year where he looked solid, 
had his moments where he looked like he played rugby for the last half of many years. But uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what he could do and hopefully he could hold on that left tackle position. Hopefully, you know, um, Andre Diller could get back healthy and just, you know, at least make the competition, um, make the coaches have to make a real decision on who to start once he comes back, if he comes back in the right mind frame. You know, but uh, overall, looking forward to the preseason game Thursday versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, can't wait. Glad that that hurt's going to be out there. I'm ready to see what we got going on, yo. Uh, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have Philadelphia Eagles and NFL content throughout the year. Also, this coming Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 12 Central, 10 Pacific. I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all come on that ask me anything, tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout out on the live. Uh, it'll be some good stuff. And also on Sundays from 11 a.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Central, uh, 8 a.m. Pacific, I co-host Big Time Sports Talk on ESPN 1420 a.m. Y'all download the 1420 a.m. and come listen on the radio to me and Mike the Band. It's a whole lot of fun. Until then, y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.